Toby, thanks very much for joining us. Really interesting to, to get your view on some of those key drivers behind the sort of focus on life sciences there um, at Canary Wharf. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Um, look, the life science sector is a great sector in terms of demand and supply fundamentals. The government's talked about the UK being a science superpower. Uh, we share that ambition and think uh, it's a great industry of growth. What we've created here at Canary Wharf is an extraordinary environment. So we've got amazing restaurants, over 80 cafes and restaurants, shops, great parks, water, great residential. And we've created this environment so businesses that are looking to grow and, and have a great collaborative environment can be here. And with the connectivity now with the Elizabeth line opening, which will be right next to this site, we feel we've got a great location for companies to consider to start our cluster. And then with the addition of Genomics England moving here, as well as we've already got NHS Transformation and other companies in the space, such as Bart's Healthcare, as well as HCA and Babylon, et cetera, we, we've got the beginning of an ecosystem. And that ecosystem side is really important, isn't it? Um, do you see, I suppose, more of a focus as well in general on life sciences uh, moving into some of the bigger capital cities, big, bigger areas, um, as opposed to being out in a science park somewhere? Yeah, sure. I think, you know, you've seen the success that's happened in the U.S. with Boston, San Francisco and San Diego. And I think scientists, uh, obviously companies that are in this space, we're going to recruit great talent. And that great talent not only doesn't want to do great research, but they want to be in where they can have amenities, can have a good quality of life, of housing, of the amenities that they want, parks, green space for well-being, Etc. And I think that the cities offer that. You've seen that in the US, and I think you're going to see that in London uh, in a much bigger way. Um, and you mentioned the, the Elizabeth line. Um, how important was that, in, I suppose, in, in terms of driving some of this change, that, that sort of key infrastructure element? Absolutely important. Uh, in fact, critical. I think the connection that we have not only with uh, East London, where a lot of the growth is happening and the young generation are living there, but then the connection to Heathrow so that you can now go from Canary Wharf to Heathrow in 39 minutes. And then in addition, the city airport is less than, you know, it's 10 to 15 minutes away. It's, uh, I think, critical as businesses consider obviously being an international hub. Just looking forward, Shobi, how much growth potential do you see in this sector, particularly for, for Canary Wharf as, a, as an area? Well, we're our first phase is on the North Key side, and we've, we've, we've got planning approval to do several million feet there in terms of space. Uh, and we can even do some housing. And I think that's another competitive advantage that we've got that as these companies look to, to not only have their offices there, but provide a great quality of life of having housing near where they work in terms of a live, work, play environment, we can build that as well there. Really interesting. So, so it, there, there's definitely a, a kind of mixed use strategy in a way to, to be able to, to, to support that growth. Absolutely. I say, you know, stepping back, we're on Canary Wharf 3.0. So Canary Wharf 1.0 was done 30 years ago when we built this amazing infrastructure and the architecture and, and uh, the great uh, companies that moved here. 2.0 was started eight years ago when we acquired Wood Wharf on the, on the eastern side and started building residential. And so actually only in 2020 was the first time that you could actually live uh, on the estate. And so we built five towers since then, and we've got another eight under construction as we speak. So we've already got a vibrant, good residential community in existence. And even within one mile radius of Canary Wharf, we've got 180,000 people. That's bigger than Kensington and Chelsea to give you the size of that of that population already. Really interesting to see how Canary Wharf has, has developed over those 30 years, Shabby. And, uh, and, and our... I'll be very interested in tracking that that growth going forward, especially this this life sciences side as well. Thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.